What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here with my homegirl, Sadistic. Hey, what up? Now, this picture that you see in front of you is Jasmine Richardson. And, uh, and her boyfriend, I don't know, he's got a fucked up name, so I ain't gonna try to say his last name, but. But the story goes. The story goes about this, uh, about these cut love birds. These love birds. That this twit, this, this is back in 06. 06, it's like six years ago. And at the time, she was 12. Now, six years ago, hold on, I think she was 12. 12 or 13, something like that. And her boyfriend was 23. 23. This is in Canada now. And uh, it's kind of fucked up how this shit goes because how this story goes because this girl, Jasmine, was loving it, met him on a site called vampirefreak.com. Y'all probably heard about it in, uh, but it, Heather the Vampire, like, I think she says it on the show, on the video, oh, uh, free, it happened in 06 now, and, I'm sorry about, like, if y'all hear the TV, I'm sorry, but, he was dating a third, a minor, now, come on now, I don't know how the laws work up in Canada, but down here, it's damn sure, would sit there and tell you like it is that dating somebody okay. under the age of 18 is against the law. That's statutory rape in a way. That's how they see it. But her parents didn't want her to date this guy. He said, he went around saying that he was a 300 year old werewolf. Okay, dumbass motherfucker. Um. And uh, and it's kind of fucked up. It says uh, her friends has punished this girl for dating. No, her friends tell people that the parents punished this girl for dating that guy, and it was against the law for him to date her because she's underage and he's overage. So they. They met online. They met online. They actually seen each other in person. And what that what happened was, they went on another site and they took down her account because of this. And she made a new one. They still talk. And I couldn't figure. And they still loved each other. They still. And I couldn't figure none of this shit out. Like they still. Like he's twenty three. And the main thing about it is, like, her parents knew that she was fucking around with a 23-year-old. Why ain't none of these, why didn't the parents put a restraining order out on them, uh, have a po post, something? The guy's name, the uh, boyfriend's Jer Jeremy Allen. His first and middle name, but uh, I don't know his last, his last name is something fucked up. Stinking, stinking, something like that. And uh, the girl was 12 at the time. Yeah, I was right, 12. And what happened was, he, they both loved this movie that was done back in 94 called Natural Born Killer, where these two young couples went on a killing spree around the countryside, killing people. So they thought that would be the best thing to do since they were so in love was to kill her parents. And got one of his friends involved. Got one of his friends involved. And I couldn't figure out. I'm sitting there reading this, finding this shit out. And I'm sitting like, where, like, where was the justice in this, man? Why didn't the police already had this fucker on file, a restraining order, and all this shit? Because <coughs> right, because where I'm from is, it, like, for me, it's like this. If I'm gonna, if I gotta 
12 year old daughter just shacked up with a 23 year old first thing I would have did was restraining order three like three he can't come in three states near my child I would have had that shit renewed every time it was about to expire so he would come nowhere near my daughter had it on file where he kept coming to see my daughter make sure that the police was watching his ass where he can have a brace uh, what ankle braces put it on his ass yeah yeah put an ankle braces put it on his ass And, and and it's fucked up that this girl and this guy, this girl and this guy, killed ja killed Jasmine Richardson's parents, and their bodies are laying in the basement, and killed her eight-year-old brother that was upstairs, and this James Allen guy friend drove the getaway car and the fucked up and the reason why they did it is because they wanted to be together they wanted to be together so they wanted to be together later that day they was charged they found them later that day they was they got rid of evidence and they was charged of killing the, the three people in the house Jasmine Richardson's got had 10 years 10 year sentence for murder first degree murder because the laws up there are so different because she was uh, under under age they couldn't charge her with the crime so they gave her they gave her 10 years in a sentence they can jail or something or juvenile, juvenile how and the girl found guilty of three counts of first degree murder killing on November 8 2007 she was sentenced to the maximum plea for 10 years imprisonment her sentence includes credit for 18 months already spent in the custody to be followed by four years in psychiatric psychiatric uh, facilities and four and a half year under the supervision of the committee or whatever on December 15, 2008 her boyfriend was sentenced to three life sentences on each count each three counts of first degree murder the sentence are to be served like he's in a jail and he will be parole after 20, 20, like 25 years. And on September 11th, the girl is now a freshman at the university, at a college, who is the, who is in the final year of her sentence. She will be free of one year after graduation in 2015. That's three years. The Richardson's daughter is believed to be the youngest person ever convicted of multiple murders in Canada. The boyfriend admitted to the murder of the parents in the con uh, conviction with the underage police officer while in custody. He admitted to an underage cop. The accessory to the murder charge against the their friend was dropped because they didn't have nothing on her. Plus, she pled guilty, and she's been charged. But she only got convicted of the only thing they gave her was a house arrest for a year, and was ordered to refrain from drugs and alcohol. So basically, the boyfriend's got three year got three life sentences in prison. The girl got ten years. And the institute in custody, and plus ten years in custody, uh, four years in the fucking institute, and has been supervised, and she will be out free in 2015. The friend that was actually uh, was accessory 
got pro got a how hold on got got on house arrest and refrained from drug, drugs and alcohol hold on like to me down here where we are at, in the u.s a motherfucking hey if you are an accessory to murder you go to prison because you was accessory Like where we're from, that girl, if she kill, if her, her boyfriend, and the accessory killed her parents, killed her parents, all three of them would do life sentences in the penitentiary. Well, the twelve-year-old will be in this, uh, what is it, juvenile, juvenile jail cell because she's twelve. She will be moved. She will. She'll be moved from the juvenile after she hit 18, and she'll be put into prison. But see, this is where y'all need to take. Man, you got anything? I mean, Sadist, you got anything to say on this? Because this, this is some shit. Not really. I mean, it's stupid. It's immature. I mean. Yeah, I was of age. I was 18 years old, and I became involved with a 25-year-old when I was 18. And my mother, even though I was of age, mind you, my mother was like, uh, "No, you are not um, getting with this guy." And I was like, "Eh, hey, we'll see about that." Yeah. And I ran away. I didn't murder my parents, I simply just fucking ran away. And they did call the cops on me, and the cops were like, you know, it's something that you can do because she's 18, blah, 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 so yeah. yeah. And now I'm 25, and I look back, and I'm like, wow, I was fucking stupid. Yeah, see, it's like this, man. I, I like watching the movie Natural Born Killer, but, it does, but I don't want to sit there and kill nobody, but they took the reference like they took that whole movie and thought okay that's what we're gonna do we're gonna murder your parents and we just gonna go all over the countryside just murdering people like, because they murdered that girl's parents because that that the dad was like molesting her yeah and shit and beating the crap out of her and whoever but they did not kill her little brother she had a little brother for that movie they didn't kill him but she, but they didn't have, like, one thing is, man, they did not have to kill the parents or that little boy. Well, they did. I mean, they're fucking, I don't know. I, uh, honestly, I, I don't know. It's uh, like, you know, like how you're, they blame Marilyn Manson for the Columbine shit. No one Marilyn Manson's fault. Yeah, see. See this is see this is this is today's world. This is what's going on. The kids today are the murderers. They get younger and younger by the year, man. It's getting to a point that a nine year old will walk up in school and shoot his friend and it happened. It happened. There's been nine year olds story there's been stories about nine year olds shooting, stabbing their classmates. And shit and and these kids get in so much trouble with that shit and the law sit up there and say oh we can't do nothing but I remember there was a story I remember there was a story it's about like a this kid had to be 10 or 12 years old at the time I was watching wrestling I was in middle school I love watching wrestling and I always watch WWE because that was my shit and it was back when Stone Cold was wrestling and uh, the Rock was wrestling. Mankind, Mick Foley was wrestling. Oh, I remember, yeah. Yeah, it was back in them times. But yeah. it was worth watching. Yeah, it was worth watching. And this kid, like I said, the kid had to be 10 to 12 years old. And he was watching wrestling with this two-year-old neighbor. This little girl was two years old. He did a wrestling move. 
off this little girl, killing her instantly. Oh, I remember. The boy has been sentenced to life without parole. He spent his birth, his teen years, in a juvenile hall correctional facility. By being a dumbass. By being a d dumbass, doing a wrestling move off of him. Uh, off a little girl. And he spent the rest of the time, when he hit 18, he went to prison. And it's fucked up how this 12 year old got life in prison with no fucking parole. But when in Canada, they should have, like, you know, like some of this shit that happened down here, I think they should have took a lesson. Should have put a page out of their American book and actually punished the people. Don't have I'm no. Not, I'm not saying either. I don't think Canadian people are that intelligent, but they just don't care. Yeah. See, they got free health care up there, man. Plus, you. No offense, Canadian people won't fucking come at me with yeah. yeah, no, no offense to y'all. That's what she's saying, but. Well, I mean, England's like that too. I mean, well, there you can like, you do like what, like sixteen years old, and they older guys. Yeah. So laws are different. Yeah, and it's funny. Like, I, I question this shit all the time. Well, what was it? I questioned the law question the law, it's like, oh, if they got a law that says anybody over the age of 18 or 21 should not be have nothing, shouldn't be dating a child under the age of 18 because they're considered as a minor. They got a law against, they got a law like that that anybody that's over 18 could not fuck around with a minor. That means if you do, you go to fucking jail for it. But in some states, and the U.S., there's are there are laws where forty like if you're forty like there's are laws in some states where a forty year old can date a fifteen year old and marry her. Like what was that Doug, that actor's name Doug Hutchinson? Yeah. Forty three years old, married to a seventeen year old in not Las Vegas, Nevada. It's like, come on, USA, you need to wake the hell up. You need to start, it's like, hey, you know what? We're going to ban them underage merit laws in every state. On all the states that had these laws. Because one thing is, don't make a law, then don't make one law, then have some states back, uh, overturn it. Oh, yeah, she's 12. You can marry this 55-year-old man. Yeah, she, it, it fucks up a lot of shit, man. And my, my homegirl, sadistic, is right. Something is definitely wrong with y'all Canadians if y'all won't punish this girl for killing her parents, too. It's like, it's like y'all just smack the shit out of her hand and say, you know what? This is your first warning. You got time out. No, no, no. She should have got, got some fucking jail time. She should have got some prison time. Don't smack her on her hand and say, well, you're going to time out. No, you you better put this bitch in the fucking penitentiary. That a damn 12-year-old. I'm going to tell you this story. Because it's true. This 16-year-old girl was riding with a few people. The oldest person was 18 years old. He was driving a getaway car. <laughs> and she was riding with a 17-year-old and a 16-year-old. No, she was riding she was riding with the she was she, yeah something like that 72 17 or 9 it's like like two people that she went in with I know one was 17 the other one was in the stings too and she was 16 years old they went off in the store robbed the place and she shot the store clerk as she's walking around the street That shit ain't right. No, well, I think she got jail time, too, for murder. And I just can't understand why, stand why, how can, like, I can't stand why, I can't understand why Canada couldn't punish this girl after she murdered her parents, but, hey, we could punish our kids for murder. 
there's been kids killing every day and they gotta spend the rest of their lives in a fucking penitentiary because of murder. And y'all fucking Canadians that smack these fuckers. Let a damn nine-year-old kill somebody up there. Y'all go smack him on his damn wrist and say, go on about your business. But down here, if he pull that shit, you know what? You get life in prison with no fucking parole. Hey, boy, I don't get it, man. Don't bullshit. You know, if if people from Canada watch this video, don't think we the worst fucking country in the world because there's countries worse, much worse than us. I was sitting there say, oh, the USA love to punish their kids. There's fucking countries where where they'll chop off hands and feet. A buddy of mine showed me a video from a, what, what we, not WikiLeaks, but Live Leaks. And this is from overseas. Overseas in Iraq and Iran and Pakistan and, and all this shit. Where a child got a B on his test so what the parents did was tie the boy up in rope and hung him from the ceiling the father and the uncle took turns beating the shit out of this kid hanging from yeah they yeah they beat the shit out of him because he got a B on his test Oh, my a woman was arrested for taping her child she was young for, for taping her child to the wall <laughs> I'm sorry. It, well it's kind of funny it's kind of funny way but taping her child to the wall why I don't know cause she was she was getting tired of her child the child was like 3 years old oh my god like 2 or 3 years old wearing pampers she Tape, she taped the child. She taped the child to the wall, and taped the sippy cup out of reach on the same. Oh, now that's fucked up. Yeah, I did one. What was it? I did a video about a woman that gave birth to her twin sons. The girl was like seventeen, seventeen or eighteen. After she gave birth, she killed her baby. And hid the babies in a dirty clothes basket. The girl was still in the house. And her dad found the dead bodies of the twin boys. And they, ch no, this is rich fun. You know, they live in the suburbs. They can get away with anything. And she got arrested for it. But they say, oh, she took the wrong medicine. She's bipolar. That girl sitting up there walking around, she's bipolar. I think she got convicted of this shit, too. It just, it never fails, man. I'm seeing, like, I can tell you another story. Four kids sitting outside. Oh, uh, staying outside. It was, like, last year. Last, yeah, back in probably 2011, 2010. Four teenage boys. 14, 13. And I think it was like 14, 15, 16. We're standing outside on this one street that's well known for something else. But this country, this dude was riding this, this country dude. He was trying to be a country music star. Just came in the Nashville. And uh, he had his mother and his sister with him. Sister sitting in the back, mother sitting in the front seat and he got out he said I'm going to stop here and ask for directions he got out of his car and walked up and said hey fellas it's like y'all know how to get in some such and such they didn't rob him they didn't rob his, his family members they shot this man dead in front of his mother and sister And it was kind of fucked up. And the kids ran off, all four of them. 
and they found one of them. The boy wouldn't speak. The boy wouldn't tell them who else was there because he wasn't going to snitch. And the boy is spending life in prison with no parole because he would not tell who else was there. His life is gone. And I'm t like I said, man, when it comes across with kids doing shit like that, I think they should get punished for what they did. Because how do you know they don't learn their lesson if you don't punish them? If we, if the parents can't spank them, can't spank them or punish them and all like that, you can't sit there. Well, you can blame the parents. Oh, it's like, oh, it's the parents. It's the, you can blame the parents. You can blame half the blame on them. But it's the fucking government. It's the fucking justice system that's to blame. Just to blame because y'all, because y'all know just as well that a parent can't whip their kids because there's the child abuse law. What the fuck they supposed to do? Half the parents are getting arrested because of some of this shit. How you punish it? How do you punish a child after committing murder? How can a parent punish a child for committing murder? A parent can't, but the justice system can. And the parents always ask, where did I went wrong? Motherfucker, if you spend more time with your kids than at the fucking club, maybe your kids won't come out fucked up. Instead of screaming at them, why don't you talk to them? <laughs> that damn club and that alcohol and that weed, that weed can wait. But your kids... And the internet. And the internet can wait. The game system too can wait. It's time for you to be a parent. See, it's like this. It's like this with me. If you're a parent, don't have internet in your house. I had internet. I didn't know the child. For real, man. I th that's what I think people supposed to do. That's what I think people should do. I think if you got a child, get rid of your cable, your TV, get rid of your internet, get rid of a lap, all that shit. Because one thing is, those are the two main problems the kids can fuck themselves over with. I never had problems. Now, my ex-husband did, but I didn't. What? No, I mean, like, kids getting on the internet and they chat. Oh, I'm playing with parents. Yeah. Parents, too. They That's get what I meant to the internet shit. Yeah, parents too. Be a parent. Sometimes a child. Yeah. And they won't think they're ridiculous bullshit. Yeah. And be cautious on what your kids do, man. Like, when they get on the internet, be cautious what they what site they go on. Like, for one thing is, I hate when kids get on Facebook, them social networking sites, because they really don't need to get on it because it causes too much problem. Committing suicide cyberbullying and shit mm -hmm. then you, the movies they watch today they want to mimic everything that's in a movie like for real though when I was a kid man I never want to mimic none of the shit I, I, I grew up watching New Jack City and uh, uh, True, uh, True, uh, True Lies and Total Recall and under siege and the mommy men in black all that shit back in the 90's but I never want to go out killing nobody same with the video games the video games are getting to a point where it's gotten bad where the kids are copying everything out of the video games mm -hmm. well Final Fantasy what was what was the big deal? What was that big deal back in the day? Uh, uh, what was it? Grand Theft Auto, the biggest motherfucking pain in the ass game that ever came out. It could be a kick ass game. It could be fun. World of Warcraft. Yeah, World of Warcraft and all that shit. Cause when Grand Theft Auto came out, it was so violent. 
I think they did an episode of uh, Law, and, Law and Order SVU where they was uh, they was showing playing a game. It was a not a video game. It was a computer game, PC game, just like Grand Theft Auto. Three kids went out committing murders in that episode. But when Grand Theft Auto was out, the first Grand Theft Auto came out on PS2. Several kids has committed murder because of the game. 15 year old, 16 year old, 17 year old. An 18 year old kid walked up, grabbed a policeman's gun, shot him with his own gun. died on the scene. Now that 18 year old serving life in prison. It's all about how you raise your child. Like they put that, what is that, that, that little writing shit on them damn games and movies? Because of how much violence and how much cussing and how much sex in it. Like, you gotta remember, man, if you gotta, like, I can understand you buying that game for an ATO, but when they, they're under the age of 18, hell to no, you don't buy no 13-year-old Call of Duty. You don't buy a damn 9-year-old P, uh, Grand, uh, Grand Theft Auto. You don't buy no 8-year-old, well, what's them other games, uh, Black, o Black Ops and Tom Clancy and shit like it yeah. because they gonna pick up on it and they gonna start putting putting that shit in the real world because they're right when they under the age of when they not even in their teens they don't know the, from reality to fantasy she backing out yeah cause back when I was a kid man we was little we, well, we had we had Sega Nintendo we had Sonic we had Super Mario Bros. And not now one of my generation ever painted themselves blue, put on red shoes, and thought they could be a blue-ass hedgehog that can run like a motherfucker. No kid never ever put on blue overalls, put on a red shirt wearing white gloves, put a fake mustache on, put a red hat on with the M on it, and start running around jumping on turtles, spitting fireballs at their mouth, and shit. Now y'all need y'all need y'all some I can say this. Y'all some punk ass parents. Y'all the pussy ass parents. I can say that cause I ain't got no fucking kids. Kinda y'all need to grow the fuck up, man. Do your fucking job, man. Cause y'all if y'all keep on letting this shit slide, man, y'all gonna have a bunch of teenagers move, trying to move up to Canada to commit crimes and do what the fuck they want. It's bad enough y'all got the laws where you can be 18 and drink up there, but when it comes down to it, if y'all letting 12 year olds get away with murder, what, you don't know how many damn minors are gonna come up there trying to do whatever the fuck they want. Stop, stop being a pussy ass country, get your ass up, and do the right damn thing and, pun and do some fucking punishment. If you ain't gonna let the parents do it, motherfucker, you the backup parents. You the law parents. That means instead of snapping on the wrist, why don't you put boots to asses? That's all I gotta say on that. You got anything else to say? Sadistic? Nope. But that's how it is, man. Y'all, like Kevin, y'all need to come on now. I got. <coughs> I know. I I don't know people up there, but I got a, two friends to live up there. And I still think I sit there and I look, man, that that this that this shit should never happen. No twelve year old should never kill her parents just because she's fucking with a damn twenty three year old. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe. Um, uh, after this, I wish learned that my own name. Yeah, that's the day. Follow me on Twitter. I will put the link that, like, I never put Wikipedia shit up in my description boxes, but I'll put the story up in my description box. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on, uh, 
Tumblr, subscribe to my channel, and tell me what all you. That shit. Yeah, all that shit. Tell me what you think about this story. Holla at it. Peace, love, and Afro grief, baby. Peace.